So we get lots of questions about liposuction, lots of patients who are very interested in liposuction. What is liposuction? What it does, what it does not do. I think what it does not do is just as important about what it does do. Most commonly areas patients want is your abdomen, lower abdomen, flanks, your back. Those are the most common areas. We also do liposuction of your thighs, your arms, and of course your chin and neck. Let's talk mostly about your abdomen and back because those are the most common areas. How we do liposuction, our technique, how is that different than most commonly done liposuction techniques? We do what's called safe liposuction, S-A-F-E. It's a very catchy word, but it's actually an acronym. There are four steps involved in liposuction. It's not just we're going and sucking all the fat out. There are four different steps. There is a method to how we do it. SAFE S part stands for separation, AF stands for aspiration of fat, and E stands for equalization. And I'll explain all that what it means. Once you're on the table, we inject lots of fluid it's called tumescent fluid. It acts as a buffer for us to take the fat out. We do lots of separating. We use a, a power-assisted liposuction. We're separating the fat from your uh, surrounding tissue. We do that for a good amount of time because I think it leads to a better result. So once the fat is separated, then we do aspiration of fat and we do the liposuction portion where we're taking all that fat out. Last step is equalization. After we are done taking all that fat out, we equalize the tissue. What that means is we are not sucking any more fat with the power assisted device. It's almost like microtransfer of fat from one area to another where it's vibrating but we are not sucking any fat. It's moving, it's moving micro droplet of fat from one area to other. What it does, it removes any divots, it removes any uh, area of irregularities, any dents. It minimizes it to the largest extent possible. We use smaller size cannula. It's, we don't use five or six cannula in our practice. It, it's pretty rare. We use four and sometimes we use three, three millimeter. I think the lower you go with your size, it takes us a little bit longer, but I do think that also minimizes the risk of divots, your dents or irregularities that you might get. We are very thorough. We have a, a whiteboard in the OR. We go by area. So if I'm taking out 500 cc's in your right flank, I'm taking 500 in your left flank, unless there is an obvious deformity on in one of your flanks. If I'm taking 500 cc's in your upper back in the right side, then we are taking 500 cc's on the left side. We keep it very symmetric to avoid any deformity. We follow safe liposuction technique to minimize any irregularities, any divots, any dents. And we have a very rigorous post-op regimen. I am a strong believer in post-op lymphatic massage. I'm a strong believer in uh, keeping your compression garment on. We have a very good regimen for that. So combination of the techniques we do inside and outside the OR gets us to results like this. One important thing I want to add is what liposuction does not do. There are lots of nuances to it, which we have already discussed. But what liposuction does not do, it does nothing for your skin. So I mean, I see a patient who has adiposity, who has lipodystrophy, who has lots of fat, but also has lots of loose skin. I have a frank discussion with them. I do tell them that your results will look better. You will look better, but we are not addressing the loose skin with liposuction. You can consider what's called a body tie. You can consider other, other energy devices for tightening. You could consider tummy tuck or, or removal procedure. Or if you don't want to do any of that, we can just proceed with liposuction. That's okay, as long as you and your surgeon have a good and fair understanding of the situation, of what we are going to do or how we're going to be dealing with it. I'm very clear, very honest with my patient, with expectations, with their results. And I think having a good understanding of uh, the results, of expectations, just sets the tone very well uh, so that there's no discrepancy in your before and after discussion and results in lots of patients who are overall very happy with those. We're gonna post some nice before and after for you. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe to our channel.
if you feel you're a good candidate for this or if you have any questions please feel free to reach out us on our real self instagram our website our number is 332-261-9445 you can call us text us whatsapp us we look forward to hear back from you